believe it or not, these are actually cucumbers. They're a variety called crystal apple cucumbers. Now, I'm going to show you in this video how to get your rotten cucumbers <laughs> and turn them into new plants. In other words, harvest seeds. So stay tuned. So these cucumbers here are starting to look a bit rotten because they are getting old. Now, I left these on the vine to ripen as long as I could. In fact, the vine dried up before I picked these off the vine. So I couldn't leave these on there any longer. Now, these are a variety called crystal apple cucumber. And this is essentially like a smaller, more traditional, but probably never heard of variety of cucumber that you can grow yourself. But this video will still work with the same process for your normal cucumbers. But the, key, the real key is let the cucumbers stay on the vine for as long as you can so that way the seeds can develop. So if you pick these too early, they won't have seeds in them that are fully developed and therefore won't grow. So you can see here this dark color on the uh, actual flesh of the cucumber itself, it's, it is starting to rot there. However, the seeds will still be viable in these things. So we need to cut them open and we just use a knife. And you can see all the seeds have grown inside there as well as a lot of flesh on the outside. So to get the seeds out, you just literally just put your thumbs underneath and you push them out. Now you want to do this into a bowl or a strainer because if you do it on a chopping board, you'll end up with a whole bunch of seeds covered in cucumber goop. Oop, seeds everywhere. <laughs> so it's as simple as that, just push them out. So just running this under a tap, you can kind of separate the bigger chunks out and the pulp and just try and get these big bits out. Now you don't have to get too dramatic over this, just the bigger bits can come out. So this is what we've got now. You can see there's a lot of seeds in here. Now I'll have to stress that some of these seeds will just not be viable. You can see there are some that are just too immature to really be counted as something that will grow. There's seeds that dip inside and have a concave look about them as opposed to a nice bulbous plumpness. So this is the nice and round, this one. You can take out the seeds that won't grow and the seeds that will by letting the seeds ferment with all of their pulp and everything. What you need to do is you fill it up with the seeds, add some water and then put it in on your windowsill to ferment for a few days. And here we go, this is all of the seeds. They're sitting in here and we'll let this ferment for three days, just sitting here on this windowsill. You'll see any seeds that are not viable float to the top and we've already got some here and I've just literally put this on the windowsill. So I can go ahead and spoon them out. And what will happen is all of this pulp and water and the seeds will start to ferment. It'll create an environment that's not conducive to bacteria growing in here that has some nasty bugs that may kill your cucumbers when they're developing from seeds into seedlings. So it helps to inoculate your seeds by just putting them in this natural um, broth here for a few days. So what will happen is after three days, any seeds that have floated to the top, discard. There will be non-viable seeds. In other words, they will not grow. But all of the rest of the seeds there, you will be able to drain the water from and then get those seeds and put them on some paper towel maybe put them in a tray and you might need a bit more paper towel for this volume of seeds and you you leave the seeds on here for a day or two and they'll dry out after a few days and they're nice and dry you can just pull them off or just scrunch up the paper towel and there's le the seeds will come off so here's some from a cucumber I've done a few days ago that's already dried up and I've harvested those seeds and they're all the same variety the crystal apple cucumber seeds and have just been harvested. So that's how you go about harvesting your seeds from a cucumber that you've grown yourself. So the key, make sure the cucumber is mature. The second part is ferment your seeds. Third part is remove any seeds that float after three days. Fourth part, dry it in the sun. Then you can then collect your seeds ready for the next harvest. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.